Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to change the formatting of numbers on the axis of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data object and then you can see that our data frame consists of two columns x and y and many numeric rows. So if we want to plot these data with a ggplot2 package, then we need to install and load the package first. And this is what we can do by running line 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And furthermore, if we want to format the numbers on the axis of our ggplot, we need to install and load the scales package. Again, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And then afterwards, we can use the functions of both the ggplot2 package and the scales package. Now, if we want to draw a basic scatter plot with the default specifications of the ggplot package, then we can run the code that you can see in lines 13 and 14. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new ggplot object will appear at the top right of RStudio. And we can also have a look at this plot by running line 15 of the code. And now you can see that our plot consists of some randomly distributed values. And what you also can see is that our x-axis is represented with scientific notification. So let's assume that we want to modify the values that are shown on the x-axis. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 17 and 18. And uh, in this code, I'm using the scale x continuous function combined with the comma function, which is provided by the scales package. So if you run these two lines of code, you will see that our plot is changed so that the x-axis values are shown entirely and you can also see that the numbers that are shown on the x-axis are shown with a comma after every third digit. So this is uh, typically the way how you would represent numbers for instance in the United States of America. However, especially in Europe you would separate these numbers by a dot instead of a comma. And this is what I'm going to show you in the next example. So in this example, I'm again using the ggp object that I have created before as basement. Then I'm again applying the scale x continuous function. But this time I'm using the comma format function of the scales package. And in this function, I'm specifying the big dot mark argument to be equal to a point and the decimal mark argument to be equal to a comma. So if you run these three lines of code, you will see that our output is similar to the output before, but this time the comma was replaced by a dot. So this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more on the formatting of access labels of GG plots in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining how to format numbers on the ggplot2 axis in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.